and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Gruel Galta. That's right, we have a new donation deck that we're going to be playing tonight here. We're going to be playing it through a traditional constructed league. See if we can get to five wins before two losses. But what our deck's all about is playing Galta Primal Hunter. That's right, we're trying to stomp with Big Mama Galta over here. Our 12 mana, 12, 12 trampler. Of course, we can make Galta uh, his cost reduc uh, reduced down to two if we have 10 power in play and so on. And so to be able to do that, you can see we got some beasts. We got Nullhide Ferox. We got Steel Leaf Champion. We got Gruel Spellbreaker. So that's what we're trying to do. We got our, our early acceleration, play some good old Gruel creatures, and stomp. The Chaos Bringer with the plus one ability can give our creatures riot, which means that they can have haste. So we can give Galta haste with Domri Chaos Bringer here. And also if our opponents are trying to block these creatures, especially Nullhide, and they're just trying to chump block, we have four Collision Colossus. Yes, Colossus costs four mana whenever you have Nullhide in play, but it can be so game breaking on a Nullhide that it can be worth it. So we got our four Colossus. So yeah, we're we're all about attacking here. So let's give it a try. And let's let's do some attacking. All right. We're going to play a traditional constructed league like we always do with our donation decks. Spend our 1000 gold, try to win even more. And it's time to stomp. Close up with the tie. This one doesn't have too much going for it. It's just a a mar uh, maroon with some white stripes. Not too much going for it. Yeah, I'll have to I'll have to take a look see if I can find some some festive ties online. Um, that's what a lot of people have been asking about that so maybe i'll start getting some i don't own any but maybe i'll start getting some holiday ties you know a halloween tie and a thanksgiving tie and a christmas tie and stuff like that well love our hands we got two drop three drop four drop galta you know, like this is that's what our deck's all about thanks brian yeah just, yep nice clean shirt and tie combo today Prison Reef. Ooh. Wish we had that Pulp Collector on turn one. This would have been just perfect. Yeah, we need more. We need more the Great Henge for this hand. So if I if I cast Colossus here, then I get to cast Galta as well. It's either that or just play Nullhide. Let's do it. Galta. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a good point. You Colossus into Henge, into the Great Henge. Yeah, that's something you can do. Okay, against my opponent's deck, I do like Ferocidon. I think Ferocidon is... This is, like, where Ferocidon can really shine in, in uh, that kind of matchup. And we want Blood Sun. 
So I think I'm taking out Spellbreakers. Um, I could just take out Null Hide. Hmm. Thing is, this isn't really a great Harpooner matchup, but I don't really want to take out the two drop too much. I mean, we could like trim one or two, especially on the draw. This isn't a very good Harpooner matchup. Maybe we go with this. Um, yeah, let's do this. Yeah, there's the the standard 2020 that we were playing with the Abzan deck earlier, uh, which I didn't update this little thing over here. Um, that is, is just a best of one format, so there's no sideboard for that format. So I'd, I'd never made a sideboard for that deck. You know, of course, it would be nice to be able to just go Null Hide next turn, but then if I go Null Hide, I'm... Ooh, okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> no land drop. All right, Null Hide. play that first. You want to take a damage. Looks like we're starting off with a win here. Yeah, opponent's playing Sultai Field. Yeah. Maybe they have more colors than just Sultai. Time wipe would be a problem. <laughs> That'd be a little bit of a problem. No time wipe. And Gruel Galta, 1-0. Both games, we play Galta. They untap, concede. The Galta does. Ugh. Galta. I think we, we miss lethal. What did you want me to play? You want me to play Domri and then tick up add mana and play a hasty Galta? Problem with doing that is we had Null Hide Ferox in play, so Domri cost six mana. So we did not have the mana to cast Omri. What's up, Toxic Flames? 19 months. Thank you so much there. Thanks for sticking with it. So I'm number 27 on the day. So 
So if they have Spectral Sailor, we got the Harpooner to take it down. They got Brineborn Cutthroat. We just have some other creatures that can block and everything. We can tussle with that in combat. So kind of testing them, if they tapped out, I would Spellbreaker. Two cards in hand. Cutthroat, you know, can just get really big also. Okay. Or not. So, Mono Blue. This is where... Hey, what's up, Arthur? I really appreciate that support, Arthur. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to subscribe here to the channel. I appreciate that. Thank you. So this is where, you know, having Veil of Summers would be nice, but having 4X Harpooner also nice. Oh, and 4 Collision. Similarly pretty nice. Galta is the kind of card where Galta can just win games. But we already have to have, like, a bunch of other stuff resolve and then have Galta resolve. And so that's not always easy to do. We're going to go with this. We're going to trim two Galtas and a Paradise Druid to get three Lava Coils in. Um, you know what? Now let's get this fourth Lava Coil in also over another Galta. And then trade out Domri for Vivian Champion of the Wilds with Vivian being, being cheaper and letting us play instant speed. Yeah, and Curious Obsession. Yeah, Curious Obsession is a huge hit to Mono Blue. So, yeah, Tempest Gen, Curious Obsession. Yeah, Mono Blue is going to have to completely change. Like, that's not a, really a deck anymore. Yeah, Storm Tamer. Yep, it loses everything. It's like the... The 90s and 2000s and 2010 Cleveland Browns. They just lose everything.
Well, I mean, it's it's true. The poor poor Browns. All right, they're being aggressive. Just three cards left in hand. Trying to coil the Tempest Gin gets countered by Storm Tamer. But at least it would get rid of the, the, the Storm Tamer. I don't think we can race, but we're going to try. <laughs> no, we definitely can't race. Galta. It's like we're dead to Trickster. We're dead to them playing an island. Like, we should just be dead here. At least we got to resolve Galtas. So that was pretty cool. All right. I like our chances on the draw here. Or sorry, on the play here. Sorry, I like our chances on the play here. Our hand wasn't too good. Their hand was really good. I like our, our chances, though. We got four Harpooner, four Collision, four Lava Coil. I like our chances. Vivian would be my best card to play here. So I'm playing it. It's not too likely they have a counter spell for Vivian, actually, because you know, like Wizards retort you know, like they may not be playing the gates, honestly. Let's tear this place apart. <laughs> That's true. Wait. We won't draw too many the lands. We're good. Is We're good. Kind? Ah! Strike me, and you strike nature. Hmm. Let me show you what was lost.
scars okay. are lessons written in skin. The mysteries of life are endless. Hmm. Alright, so now we can play like Paradise Druid and Steel Leaf Champion together. See if they have two different two mana counters. Darn. Just like before. Well, at least we got a couple Steel Leaf Champions in play now. <laughs> Alright, I guess we did draw too many lands. Six of our 20... Yeah, like, we're only a 22 land deck. We don't have very many, so... Six of 22 lands is quite a bit. Let's make it seven. That Brineborn Cutthroat card's pretty good. All right, one and one. Hawkeye, you're supposed to help whenever you come up here. That didn't help. All right, better hand. I don't expect Simic Flash to be that good in, in standard, honestly. I mean, it'll, it'll be fine. I mean, it'll, like, I don't expect it to be, you know, like, one of, like, the very best decks. I think, like, day one, a lot of people are going to play it, but it's the kind of deck that's pretty easy to, to hate on. You know, like, you can just, like, there's going to be a lot of Vela Summers around, basically. Green is, green looks like the best color in the format and I'm so I'm expecting tons of Vela Summers and so trying to counter things with Vela Summers everywhere is dodgy all 
Um, of course, people, you know, if the bigger Simic Flash is, the more people will start will play Ceratops again as well in the sideboard. So if there's just you know sideboards filled and you know Ceratops main decks again, so that's the thing. Is like the Simic Flash is the kind of deck that the metagame can correct against um, when it's when it's like a, a top deck being played. Black, I think black is the, the second best color from Eldraine, but from what green already has in standard with, you know, Risen Reef, Nyssa, Krasis, Cavalier Thorns, and everything like that, plus what they got there, I think that they are the the best. I think it's the best color in standard. It's a tough attack step. Yeah, absolutely. I'll be playing Historic. I have other obligations. Basically, want to get rid of Soren so they don't get to use Soren for lifelink and everything. So playing Pell Collector first because Pell Collector does trigger on the die effect. So whenever our creatures are going to die here in combat, it can grow Pell Collector. But this has been a pretty good game, you know, taking it to vampires, being the more aggressive deck against vampires. GG. We didn't need to draw that for it to be lethal. I didn't even need to play that card. We'd still have seven there. Colossus was awesome. They're going to have a bunch of noxious grasps which is bad for my galtas i'm going to just kind of trim around the edges we're going to take out one paradise druid one crowl harpooner one galta and one null hide. Here we go. 
I guess I could be playing for Ross on a stop life gain. I was thinking that, like, the 3-3 three, three isn't uh, real big in this matchup with them having, like, the 4-4 the four, four champion, the 3-4, um, the other 4 drop that's a 3-4, and then also Soren's tick up, sacrificing a zombie, or, sorry, sac sacking a vampire to do 3 damage. Yeah, we're not even Veil summering it up. We're going all damage all the time. Really hope they don't have another Legion's End. You know, now we get to grow Pell Collector. If they want to double block to kill the Harpooner, you know, like we're going to trade Harpooner for Conquistador, and then we would grow Pell Collector again. It would help us against, you know, it's trading one for one helps us against another Legion's End. that thing out here I really hope I really hope they don't have uh, the Ixalan mythic the black white five drop really hope they don't have that card now that I just used my lava coil the life linker okay good sign good sign They just had nothing to do that turn. Oh, there's Vona. That card, Vona. Vona, Butcher of Magan. And that's game. Man, Colossus just steals games. We were already doing just great here in this game anyway, but I'm just saying other times Colossus can steal games. Obviously, I could have dealt more damage if I if I would have done the Ferox, we would have dealt more damage. But that was lethal, and we got to kill the Vona. All right, two and one. Good win over there over vampires. Out aggroing vampires, good win there. We're on the play this time. I kept like this kind of hard, this kind of hand on the draw. I don't think I really want to keep it on the play though. All right, we'll get rid of Agalta. If we draw two lands, we can have turn two Harpooner, turn three Spellbreaker, turn four Colossus plus Galta. That's a good call. I could have played around Disfigure. The thing is, is like, so my opponent didn't play Disfigure the turn before. They played nothing the turn before. So, like, they didn't play any, like, if they had Disfigure or any removal spell in their hand, they would have played it. They untapped and then played Vona. 
So that's telling me they didn't have they didn't have Vona the turn before because they would have just played Vona the turn before. So that's their draw step was Vona, and um, and so yeah, I didn't think they had anything else in hand. So that's why I, I didn't even really consider playing around Disfigure. But I guess we could have gotten Disfigured. Did that because, you know, if we draw the land, we're just going to be dropping three drop, three drop, and so on. And so, like, so I did that, but obviously we didn't draw the land, so this looks really bad for us. See you, Moo. I regret becoming Just move over to the graveyard. You are not allowed on the battlefield. Let's make this quick. I've got other things to plan. GG. Everyone knows the bigger explosions are more fun. Always do better next time. Hmm. So we need another green source still for Steel Leaf. Yeah, we don't we don't have great odds for for winning right now. Not great odds. This Omnath is a huge problem. All right, now it went down to basically nothing. Cause at least we could have had another creature and been able to double block Omnath. But now we're just sitting there and, and jump blocking while we're taking other damage. And they're drawing cards. Omnath. Heck of a card. The problem with Galta sometimes it gets stuck in your hand. Like that. Um so yeah, like Ferocidon, probably like Coil also. I took out like Spellbreaker last time. What if we don't play Nullhide and play like Domri Nissa? All right, kind of trimming around the edges. No, we'll, we'll stick with Null Hide. <laughs> you can't have too many Galtas in the Gruul Galta deck. We're called Gruul Galta for a reason. We're not Gruul Spellbreaker. Rule Galta. Which one of these red cards do we want to put back? Coil and Colossus are about the same. I 
I'll put the coil back. <laughs> you have no such thing as too many Galtas. Alright, Paradise Druid. It's kind of like drawing a red source. Help us get there. Definitely hope no lava coil. You know, speaking of lava coil, really hope they don't have one for the steel leaf. Yay, no lava coil. Alright, turn two steel leaf. Hey, there you go. Arx Jelly with that turn two steel leaf hype. Not not only does this champion steal leaves, it also steals games. Turn two steel game. All right, let's go to game three. We've just had like nothing but two drops. We'll see if we actually get a, a good, or sorry, nothing but two mana. Let's see if we get a good curve out here for game number three. One of the three games. No complaint. To primal hunger. Do you think my opponent's gonna be surprised if we slam down a primal hunger? <laughs> he also steals our hearts. <laughs> Steel game champion. No, it doesn't look like that we are drawing a third. You know, we still don't have a third land again. Is this the third game in a row where we don't have a third land drop? That's the, just the perfect hand right there for them. Turn to Omnath. Just a great two for one. Taking out my pulp collector and my coil. But at least we have the coil for it this time, so we don't just die to it. Hey, P Jelly. Getting the gifted sub there from Kendis. Ooh. Hmm. That's sub number 29. So we are only one sub away from our sub goal. So if you're having a good time, would like to help support me as somebody who's a full-time streamer, consider hitting that sub button. We only need one more awesome subscriber to get there tonight. I'm going to go for Rasta on here because if they're willing to play a Krasis for three, I think that they probably have another Krasis in hand. If they're willing just to play it on three, I think they're planning on playing an, a Krasis for four. So we'll keep them from gaining life there. Well, that thing's scarier. Happy little trees. Thank you so much there, happy little trees. Thanks for getting us to that sub goal. Thanks for taking time and getting that resub in there. Thank you very much. All right, well, we got Galta in play. If 
I guess they just want Cavalier to grab another Cavalier. But that's fine. That means they don't have a Cavalier to block now. Unless they got Risen. So they have Risen Reef. So they can go Risen Reef Cavalier. But that's still just them taking two. Wow, okay. All right, that's fine. I could have saved the coil to be able to like pair up with like attacking this cavalier and then coil it. I like getting that 3 3 out of here. Oh boy. What a draw. Good losses. But yeah, that was still just... That was like lethal anyway, right? I kind of think it was. No, I mean, they... No, because they, they double block Galta. They only take 3, uh, 7, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we would have done 13 to them. I think they had a little bit more life, but... Galta power. So yeah, I was planning on just attacking with everything the next turn. But now with, you know, drawing that Colossus. All right, we're three and one. We're getting there. Get this next win. We get to get to the final boss. What a curve. What a curve. One, two, three, four. This is where you look at your opening hand and you just say, congratulations, you played yourself. I don't have to do anything over here. We're just on autopilot. What? Regisaur Alpha. Or, sorry, Rotting Regisaur. That thing's big. Yeah. Spark Double Galta. Make sure it has a... It gets a counter. So they're discarding... Uh, Ripjaw Raptor, huh? That's my job. Play Galta. My job playing Galta. I 
they didn't kill Pelt Collector? Wow, that's lucky. Now we have 12. Now we can trade with Galta. All right, so we're still in the game. Need to draw another null hide. The good news is they've, you know, they, they did like three for one us and all that kind of stuff. But the good news is they just discarded two Rip Jaws and a Regisaur Alpha. So we've made them discard a lot of cards. I'm not going to block here. We're going to go down to five. Because I could draw Steel Leaf. Man. If only our... Like, like we're playing less lands than our opponent, probably. Like, if not, we have the same amount of lands. I only got 22 here. And we drew 8 lands out of 22. And 14 cards. We're only a couple lands away from being able to hard cast Galta. Almost could hard cast Galta. <sighs> so I'm coil instead of chaos bringer but that's kind of it we're not really sideboarding too much here it's all about who gets galta yeah we're we're playing a lot less lands and a lot more galtas than my opponent yet they had a lot they drew a lot less lands and more galtas than me that's not fair Not fair. And then we get the one lander. Okay, well, if we just draw only spells for the rest of the game. Oh, yeah, I forgot to update the title. Jesus Aris. Sorry. That's true. Besides, you know, with the lands, uh, that, that last game, we only drew lands except for our two spells in the late game. And those two spells were Llanowar Elf and Paradise Druid. The worst spells to draw. But here we go. We got rid of their Accelerant. Doesn't matter. They have their best card. So I want to keep Rotting Registor in play for a little while so that they have to discard more dinosaurs because we can't really handle more dinosaurs. Hey, Numbers, welcome back. Yeah, Hero did really well. Galta! Hawkeye, we got Galta! And we don't have to discard any cards to Galta. Galta. <laughs> yeah, we had we had one good draw step in all the draws from last game and this this game. We finally got a Galta. 
right, let's make them discard this last card in hand. That's pretty good. You know, that's those are three good dinosaurs they just had to get rid of. <clears throat> so if they trade here, if they trade with Rotting Regisaur with Nullhide, then they have 11 power in play. And so 11 power does not get to kill Galta. Wow, so they, they would rather just draw a card than have Ripjaw Raptor. That's a pretty bad block. Because they have Rotting Regisaur where they have to discard that card at upkeep. That's a, that's a very bad block, honestly. Like, that was just, that was a very bad jump block. They just get rid of that card. If I, okay, if I tra if I attack with Galta, we can double. You know, so what if we trade with the two Regisaurs now? So they're just not going to play their card and just discard it? Why, why don't you just play your land? What are you doing holding on to your land? Just to discard. So they have 12 toughness right now. So do this. They have 8 so even double blocking this, they still take six. If they don't, let's see, they take 12. Yeah, and this is just lethal. All right, we made it to game three. It looked bad for us there for a little bit, but we did it. So here we go. Let's see if we can out Galta our opponent this time. All right. <laughs> yeah, having them discard all those dinosaurs certainly helped out. Here we go. Stomp or be stomped. So this match is all about. Yeah, that's kind of. That's that's okay, Shep. That's. That's kind of like how we all kind of feel about new standard decks. Uh, if you want, you can post, if you have like a link to your deck, you can post it here in chat and ask chat to, to see what they think and everything. That's awesome, Chaos. Good job. Good. Good, good, good. Yes, I do agree that Agent of Treachery decks are the meanest in the metagame, and I... I don't think that's really changing with the new set. And we have cards like the Great Henge being added. Yeah, Agent of Treachery. Really mean. I would rather play against... I'd much rather play against, like, Simic Flash than Agent of Treachery.
Yeah, no problem, Shafty. I guess maybe I should just go Harpooner because it can block Marauder. Here. The. All right, I don't hate going null hide where or going the paradise because now we can null hide. Ooh, that's tempting though. All right, we're let's go pelt. Pelt harpooner. I want to grow this pelt collector quite a bit. I'm taking the seven from the rotting regisaur. I want my opponent to attack with Marauding Raptor. Ideally. I would I would recommend playing like Vivian Arcbow Rangers in that kind of deck, maybe in, instead of like instead of like Hellkite and Worm up at the top end or or Nissa, like I think your curve's a little high. Yeah, I don't I don't know if you can make your curves a little high there. Okay, so now Pelt Collector's a three three. So I go Spellbreaker and it's a 4-4. Four, four. We'll just go Null Hide though. So now we need to trade with Rotting Registore. Alright. Got rid of two rare dinos. Oh, come on. They draw Galta off the top. Ugh. Galta off the top, huh? Man. That's a killer. I need to draw my own Galta. Oh my gosh, we did it. We drew Galta. That was like one reason why I made that block was so that it could turn on Galta. Woo! Wow. Wow. Galta Mirror. So yeah, like this block, they either block Galta, they trade, they take 10. Or they block one of these other things and they're going to be dead. Oh, I guess I could have just saved my Galta. That's whatever. <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking that this was only going to be doing targeting these things. <laughs> whatever, we're fine. <laughs> should have just saved Galta. All right, we're four and one. We're going to the final boss. The top deck, Galta. Here we go. Punt. We had no chance. We had no possible way of losing. I'm getting a punt for when we couldn't possibly lose the game, and I just didn't play a card. There's nothing our opponent could draw that would have saved them. Man, y'all are a tough crowd. Give me a punt for that. 
It didn't matter if we had Galter or not. Yeah, we could have saved Galta, but we still were going to win the, the game no matter what they play, what they drew. Yeah, yeah I was playing around to concede. <laughs> there you go. All right, on the draw with a two-lander. See, two-lander. Yeah, it's all good. You hold us, to, hold me to a high, high standard. It's all good. I can take it. Field of the Dead. That's exactly what you're going to be here in a little bit, opponent. We could really use Colossus. Get through some blockers. I know I didn't save that that Galta. Even right after the Galta saved me. I'm not playing around Time Wipe. That's not really what my deck does. I went this w this way instead of playing Null Hide so that we could grow Pelt Collector an additional time. Well, that's really unfortunate. That card's that card's awesome. I'm going to save that to be able to use with um, with Null Hide. Yeah, glad we had the Blood Suns in the sideboard. This doesn't look so good for me. What's up, Yud? Howdy. We got our final boss here. Looks like we're going to be down a game. But you never know. Never know what can happen. I kind of have to play this Colossus before the other Null Hide. Right? So if I play other Null Hide, then, then I have to draw a land of Colossus. And yeah, we're doing it. Let's get a 5 5 Trampler here. That's kind of a bad sign for me that they didn't play a land there. It's kind of a bad sign. They probably have a you know bunch of good spells in hand. Maybe it's just a bunch of arboreal grazers. There's a land. Crisis would be for six if they had that. I really hope not Deputy. Hmm. 
That's unfortunate. Kind of unfortunate. Not like the worst thing ever. Because it turns on Colossus. Yeah, I forgot to update the the stream title, and now I'm kind of over it because we're in our last match. All right, well, Steel Leaf Colossus could be could be lethal next turn. They can't block Steel Leaf. Good, I like seeing that. That does not get blockers for Steel Leaf. I want them just to keep playing. Just play another land. Play another one of those. Ugh. They get a gain life land, so they get to go to 10. I really hope they don't get any gain life lands. Please no gain life lands. Please no gain life. Please no gain life. It's our... Only hope is no gain life. They've already played three they've already played three gain life lands already. No gain life. They already had their three. GG's. Should I say good game? That'd probably be rude, wouldn't it? If I just had good game. <laughs> no, yeah, I shouldn't do it. That's that. That's mean. They just ha they have forty four zombies. They're probably all excited. I should I should have gone nice and then good game. Boom. That's what I was talking about when I said earlier Colossus steals games. That's what it does. It steals games. But I guess that, that's the steel game champion, I guess. That was our steel game champion. <laughs> steel game champion. All right, Blood Sun. Get on in here. Ferocidon. Get on in here. What else? Maybe no Domri? Domri can like help us find Ferocidons though, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Taken out. I mean, we just brought in all these three drops, so. Let's play one Domri over a Harpooner. Saw so their Harpooner is not so good here. I guess I could have Coil for Deputy. That's a good, good call. I kind of forgot about Deputy already. Maybe I need to play a couple Coils for that thing. All right. No, I don't want to cut Galta. They don't play a lot of removal. I mean, I guess they play Sweepers, I guess. And they play like a Time Wipe, we die. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry about that. We're gonna have them not draw Time Wipe. Yeah, our opponent has Deputy of Detention for Enchantment Removal. They also have three mana to ferry as well. Sometimes people just have like Ixalan's bindings and things like that in their sideboard as well. Yeah, Deputy is any non-land permanent.
Turn five, Galta. We just brought in a whole bunch of three drops. Can we draw any of them? I'll take a Ferocidon. I'll take a Blood Sun. Any, either three drop, whatever three drop you want. Not three drop as in three of the same card in my hand. <laughs> That's not the three drop I wanted. Yeah, I mean, I, I like I like me some Vivian. Uh, this this was a donation deck. This was on a list I, I put together myself. But this is, yeah, it's really a, yeah, it's a Galta-focused list. But yeah, y'all know me. I absolutely love Vivian. We're going to be jamming some Vivian on Thursday with the new set. So I'm questing Beast Vivian. We're going to be jamming that for sure. How good will the new 3-3 three, three Elk? Or let's see. I see you're talking about Oko, but I guess you said the Mushroom Dealer and Gruel. I'm not sure. I don't know the card you're talking about. I only have... The, so, yeah, the alternate art for Galta. I, I didn't play the event. I kind of feel bad about it. I only have... Um, I only have one of the other Galtas. I've done the hero thing before. Getting that in play before all my creatures die. But yeah, expecting... Darn it. I was expecting either Circuitous Route or Escape Shift, but I was hoping it was Circuitous Route. Darn, Escape Shift. Grumgoli the Generous. That card that card's really good. I like that card quite a bit. Gave it a good rating in our uh, set review that we did. It's up on YouTube right now. We talked about that card quite a bit. Um, talked about all the cards a lot, though. But yeah, I like that card. I think there is some some proliferate shenanigans we could have here. Could have uh, with the cards in the new set, including that one, we could have... Um, Evolution Sage be an important card. <laughs> Look at my opponent getting the three gain life lands. There's a lot of competition for that three mana slot in Gruul. Uh, of course, Spellbreaker, but now Grum Goalie. If, if we're talking about playing Evolution Sage, that there's three mana Chandra, which works really well with Grum Goalie. So does Legion War Boss. Dang, they figured it out. All right, I guess if I don't have a cyborg card, I probably need a mulligan. These harpooners just look pretty bad. I want to play like no two drops though. I'll just play these things. All right, Frosted on Blood Sun. That's what we need. We need Frosted on Blood Sun. Let's. We need red card in hand. Frosted on Blood Sun. 
Where's our red cards? Red cards. Dun, dun, dun. Red cards. Now we need land. Real estate. Where's our real estate at? Let's get some real estate. Yuck. Come on, deck. We just need to draw one land. Come on. You can do it. One land. Wow. It's just so disappointing. So much potential here. Okay. No stream tomorrow. Be doing the 12 hour stream on Thursday. Still no land. Don't worry, I got this. All right, so we'll be able to kill the fairy. So that's good. One of their blood sun answers out of here. Yeah, I like I like that Shafty. That looks pretty good. I'm I'm not sure if Harpoon I there may be a better two drop for you than Harpooner. Harpooner works like well with Galta and everything. Like there could be a better two drop for you. I don't I don't know exactly what. There there probably is. I have to go through and look. Maybe somebody has a better suggestion for chat. I can chat there. But besides that, I like I like the look at the rest of it. All right, we got them locked down pretty good. Take a damage. Yep, yeah, Bark Hydro, uh, the there's the green the green red card as well. Ugh. That was the card they need to get. They needed that card to continue playing the game. It's unfortunate that they had it. It's unfortunate. 
<laughs> they played their land first and then deputy. All right. Well, just don't just don't get that zombie. So obviously, if they have scape shift, we lose. That's just kind of how it is. They had to have time wipe plus deputy plus scape shift to kill us, and they did. So GGs. They had to have specifically those three cards exactly, and they did. Deputy could be could have been Teferi, but they needed they needed they need a time wipe and then and scape shift and then either deputy or um to ferry so where where we lost all right so that's gruel galta still our deck was pretty fun to play we got to do, like, the game one there, how we stole that game one with Colossus. That was really cool. Um, you know, like, our, our Galta deck's going to be weak to sweepers. That's just how it is. Um, we had we had a lot of mana troubles. I kind of wish we just had a couple extra lands, like a, a 23rd, 24th land. Um, but then, of course, if we did have a couple extra lands, we would need more some more kind of, like, card draw effects also. to So that, you know, like, I don't know if we need... If we want to play more of those, that, that just kind of hurts our curving out. We basically just don't have a lot to do if we're not curving out. It's all about it's all about that with the deck. That's just how the deck is, and that's that's okay. That's how some decks are. We never got to draw Domri. Never got to play Domri, um, unfortunately. But yeah, Colossus was good. Um, Pell Collector was pretty good for a one drop. Got to put it put on a lot of pressure. But oh well, that's Gruel Galta. Had some really fun games, had some times where it looked like we were going to lose, but then we we were able to pull it out, um, even with the mana troubles for some other games. So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. And of course, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. And also check out our Throne of Eldraine Brewers set review that we did all day yesterday. Spent 10 hours there. Of course, for everybody here in chat, here's the link to the YouTube channel. Hope you all check that out if you haven't. We had a lot of really good discussion, a lot of in-depth analysis on every card from Throne of Eldraine. Um, you know, went through all every single card, broke it down by color there. So there's a white, a blue, a black, a red, a green, and then another video with multicolor artifacts and land in there as well. No stream tomorrow for me. Uh, while I prepare for the Throne of Eldraine set release, and I won't be taking it another day off for a while, of course, whenever we got the new standard format. So taking the day off tomorrow. So hope you check out all of those uh, videos uh, to get you ready for standard as well tomorrow. Hope you check those out. Um, but that's it here for uh, our deck here. So again, uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.